any time. You didn't have an appointment time. That is bullshit. But let me have an 8 a.m. appointment and get there at 8.15. Oh, now we all, y'all, we all up in fucking arms over this bullshit right here. And and then, like I said, these guys, no no apologies, nothing. They just, just, just tell them. And then, uh, it was like, well, Kelly, uh... uh I made the white girl cry because uh, I told her, stop texting me while I'm driving. I know you know that I'm driving because you know when I stop, I will stop and get out the truck and you guys will immediately text and ask, why have I stopped? So that means that you know when I'm driving. I have asked you several times. I have asked Mike Bruno to ask you to stop. I have asked Becca to ask you to stop. Now I am telling you, stop texting me while I'm driving. It is against the law to text and drive. And for my company to text me and expect me to respond is you're asking me to break the law that you're asking me to not violate. And you're doing two things at the same time. And then on top of that, if I was to get a ticket or a citation or any other legal document for responding to your text, the first thing you will say is one, it's not our responsibility, and two, you weren't supposed to respond until you stopped, except for you kept texting while I'm driving, giving me the impression that you want me to respond. So just stop it. Oh, Kelly, it wasn't me. I was going to lunch. I don't know why you're yelling at me. I got to look at the messages. Okay. Now I looked at, oh, you know what? You're absolutely right. It wasn't you this time. It was the other dispatcher this time. But I'm quite sure you're going to relay everything that was just said because I don't feel like having this conversation again. Do you understand what I'm saying? Well, Kelly, the reason why I don't care what the reason why you did it, because you shouldn't be doing it because I picked up and I delivered within the allotted time and I'm 15 minutes away from the next pickup and I don't have to be there for another hour. So let me get off the phone and make it on down this road. Have a nice day. Boy, you best believe I'm going to hear from them when I get back to the yard because Ooh. I made that lily white girl cry on Ooh. the telephone. You know I'm going to hear from it. Man, you 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 made me cry, bro. I'm sorry. Damn, Damn bro. Stop it. <laughs> man, well, let's, uh, before before I get on up out of here, man, let's let's talk about about testing and all that other BS that these companies does. The dispatcher, the 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 departments and stuff like that. You sign off on that in your handbook, am I correct? Absolutely correct. You sign They tell you that it's it, illegal. They tell you in the employee handbook that it is illegal to test and drive and that we will get reprimanded for it if we're ever caught. Am I correct? That is 100% correct. It is in black and white. Am I correct? Correct. So tell me why, so that I can understand, that it's okay for you guys to text me. It's okay for me to respond to you. It's okay for me to, to, to put my CDL in jeopardy. But yet, it's cool when they do it's it. Cool, it's huh? a problem when I do it. So when I'm out here, somebody send some quote unquote secret driver side rides you and they just happen to take a, I don't know, maybe a picture or or probably call you. And then you you call that person that that you saw testing and driving or whatever the case, they'll get reprimanded and you say, Hey, we just want to, what you call that? Uh, what do you call that? When, when they call, when, when it, it's not, it's their version of a reprimand. Uh, we, well, I don't know. We just want to want to talk to you. We just want to remind you. We just want to remind. But when, but when we complain about your dispatchers and, and, and fleet managers testing us all day, oh, it's, it's, it's okay because they doing it. But it's really not meant for you to respond immediately. It's, it's meant yeah. for you to respond. You, you're supposed to pull over and respond or yeah. respond when you get a chance. Yeah. But yet they're asking me, what's my ETA? And the only way I can give them an accurate ETA is that I have it's to respond. respond. Exactly. Exactly. It's cool when they do it's it. Cool, it's huh? a problem when I do it. So. <laughs> so. 
that's, that's, that, that's that bullshit right there. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. They give us these times and stuff like that. Well, we 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 was thinking that you would get there at eight o'clock or ten o'clock in the morning. Okay, but you gave me a window too. So oh, by the way, before you get off the phone, let me uh, emphasize something here as uh, the, the whole problem with what I had with them. Okay, so we're told to not think on our own as far as broker loads, as far as pickups and delivery times. We're told to stick to the times. Whatever times that they have negotiated with the broker. So if the broker said be there at noon, I am highly advised not to show up at 10.30, 11 o'clock. Not even at 10.30. I'm at, I mean, uh, 1130, I'm advised to get there as close as the possible to the pickup time because they want me to stick to the times because that's what the rate con says. So my message said that my delivery had been updated and the rate con was in my email, stick to the times. That's what the message said, stick to the times. The time was noon. So... I did not leave out, although we, we understand this. I know how to do the eight two split. You know how to do the eight two split, but because they don't know how to do it, you don't do it. And because my guys don't know how to do it, I don't do it. I could have left and gotten there at eight o'clock yesterday morning and then went to the truck stop and sat there for three hours, three and a half hours before the truck stop was only two miles away from my pickup before I went those five or two miles. Okay, and my clock would have stopped. They don't understand that. So that's why I had what they call the extended break. That's why I sat there for 12 and a half hours because there was no need for me to leave because if I had made that delivery, I would have gotten to the customer outside of the times that you told me to stick to. So I did exactly what you told me to do, but... Here's what I found out the problem was. We got four dispatchers. As I was telling you, I got a dispatch team. We didn't check with the other dispatchers to see what you told Kelly. We just went off what we thought that we knew, and now we're jumping down Kelly's throat about what we thought that we knew, not what was actually known and not what the messages actually said. See, that's why I don't that, – that's, that's what I used to hate when I worked – or U.S. Express having having multiple dispatchers and you have to constantly, constantly repeat your fucking self after you just well, told the whole told fucking you to story. Do this? Yeah, you told the whole story with the first dispatcher. Now you got to tell the whole story again to get him up on page. Why do all of that? And all they have to do is just type that shit in the computer so they could see one another. Except for these guys didn't read the messaging because that's why. Oh, 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 dude. You know, I did this. You know, I did this. And I told you I was going to get some backlash from it. Um, she told me that uh, they didn't like the fact that I sent the uh, the snarly faces because the, the, when uh, my when she was asking for the reason and everything, it's just like, again, reason for being late and not hitting your delivery on time. And have you talked to the broker? I sent two smiley faces and said, you guys are being too funny right now. Uh, well, Kelly, um, yeah, uh, we, we kind of don't like that. It's like you send the smiley faces. It's like you're laughing at us. And I said, I was. Excuse me. I was laughing at you. I said, because that was just hilarious. Because you yelling at me and didn't read the messages. So, yeah, I found that to be funny. Kelly, <laughs> oh, you, Kelly man. You know it like <laughs> Kelly, man. I, I I don't know was I I I don't I I I I've been with you ever since you started with this company, man. Even when I called them and all like that, but I I I got a gut feeling you're not going to be there too much longer, Pearl. <laughs> so what? I can't send smiley faces at the dispatchers when they roll. <laughs> so, just make sure from now on, man, that you 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 get everything recorded, bro, because I I got a gut feeling that. Somebody, oh, yeah, I some know. somebody in somebody in there that literally don't like you. I I think they they yeah they they plotting, bro. They if, are if somebody plotting. Somebody's feelings is going to be seriously hurt, especially 
after the fact that I told them that I was laughing at them. Yeah, I was yeah, laughing at you they, they, because what you plotting. did was stupid. They are plotting, bro. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. But I told her, I said, call me. This was a complete misunderstanding on your part. And you guys, it could have been resolved with a five-minute conversation. And her thing was, well, the they point don't want to talk to you no more. The, the <laughs> they don't, they don't want to talk to you no more, bro. They, they done talking. Y'all, y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. That's right, man. The, the less conversation with you now, the better for them. But somebody, I guarantee you, bro, somebody there is fucking plotting. No, I told so you just, yesterday. I so said, you watch this. I said, I'm so going to hear about this one. So just CYA, bro. A CYA. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I, I told you it was going to happen, man. And especially with the fact that I told him, stop texting me, call. Man, they go, who he think he is? No black man going to tell us what to do. And and you made, you made our white, lily white dispatcher cry? <laughs> 